I'll play the other side for you. So they'll go, hold on right now. As it turns out, there is a, a fragment that was found in Nachal Hever. Nachal Hever is not as old is, as, the letter, uh, as Qumran. So Qumran will be first, second, let's say first, second century BC. Nachal Hever is between the two war, wars. So it's a couple centuries later. And we have a fragment, fragment five slash six, H-E-V-P-S-A. And it seems there that the Yud of Ko'ari, Kof Aleph Resh Yud, is a little bit longer. This is what you said. I don't want to misrepresent, right? I'm honest. The Yud, you know, if you take a Yud, so the Yud has a spitzel on the bottom. Has a little, a little bit, right? But let's say you take the Yud all the way to the bottom. Then you don't have Ko'ari, you have Ko'aru. And Ko'aru, Yudas argued, means pierced. This is Sheker V'chazav is a lie. Kaf Alish Resh Vav. What does that word mean? Anybody? What is the word in Hebrew where I'm in standing here in the land of Israel, filled with Hebrew speakers? You sh all don't tell me none of you speak Hebrew. Kaf Alish Resh Vav. What does this word mean? Nothing. It means nothing. There is no such word. I'm not going to get it. You can't have a verb with the Aleph in it as a root. I don't want to get complicated. There is no such word. Word you have been lied to. No, stop, I'm not done, sweet. No, stay with me, stay with me, it's not true. It's Sheke B'chazav, it's being promoted, started off by a professor in, 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 in Canada, and by, I don't want to get into Flint, whatever, and I have a whole chapter on this in my book, with the manuscript, there is no such word. You have been lied to. Now, in order to, first of all, you have to believe that every Tanakh in the world, Masoretic, everybody's wrong. Why would the Yemenites change it? Nobody, but people look at this one. So as it turns out, it's not true, it's a lie. There is no such word, this is gibberish. There is no such word as ko'aru, kof alef reish rav, it does not exist. It actually can't exist, and I'm not gonna get into the complicated grammar behind it, but this is what I wanna say. In order to get a word that remotely resemble piercing, you not only have to turn the Yud into a Vav, but you have to remove the Aleph also. Well, you have the word Karu. Now we have a word. The word Karu does not mean to pierce. I know you told, this is what they say in Mishnah, the word Karu means to open, to excavate. They sometimes use it like Karu Bar. To, to, you could, they sometimes will translate it as dig a well. It doesn't mean dig in any, that conventional. It means to open, to lower. To, when, when King David in Psalm 40 says that sacrifices and offerings you did not desire, but oznayim karisali, my ears you have opened for me. That's the word. What does it mean? Someone stabbed him in the air? Okay. So you should know, listen, just listen, listen. I, I'm not, it's not true. And the proof it's not true is when you go home, you take the look up in Tanakh, if there is a single word in all of Tanakh, there are millions of, there are also the 300,000 words in Tanakh, if there's one other word in all of Tanakh that has that word karu, you'll find it's not there, you've been lied to. You, so the, in Hebrew, you would never say karu yodai viraglai. It would not make sense to any Hebrew speaker. There are words to pierce as in stab through flesh. Dakar. So let's say, Dakaru Yodai Viraglai. The Nakev would be, to, let's say Dakar really means to stab. Okay? You would never ever so. It's not true. Now, it is true that digging wells as in excavating sound could remotely resemble, that's not you'd say it isn't there, and it's, you have been lied to. If you take the Yud and turn it into a Vav, you do not have the word pierce. It's just not true. Moreover, listen, if you open the same text, if you actually look at the fragment, you'll see it's almost impossible to read it. it and the letters are not uniform like a Sefer Torah would be. We have much better uniform text in Qumran. And it's also filled with misspellings. The next word is Yodai. Yud, Dalad Yud, my hands. If you go to that Nahachev fragment, if you don't have it, I'll email it to you. The scribe who wrote it, now he's writing in the middle of a, a desert. So maybe he did a better job than I would do. But actually, in that first fragment, the next word is Yud Dalad Yud Hey. I'm not kidding. And there it's very clear, which means he, Yud Dalad Yud Hey means Yod Deho, which means her hands. The scribe misspelled the very next word, so you would know that today is the day to do tshuva. So it's not true.